Well, the struggles of international hunting. I came all the way to Mongolia that you see behind me through the window of the hotel, and my rifle and my gear did not come with me. So, being an experienced traveler and hunter, and have lost my gear before, I have a backpack full of gear um, that I can survive with. Uh, probably going to have to use the Outfitter's rifle, which I've had to do in the past before as well. Um, the chaos of international travel, you just have to roll the punches and you have to understand that that is all part of the adventure. Well, we got our approach on, I think it was five or six rams there, and um, as we're getting there, something spooked them, but the good news is there wasn't a big enough ram for us to take anyway. Well, we're in the Gobi Desert of Mongolia, and uh, this is nomad country, and that's what we're doing. We actually have a portable camp we're setting up right now, and uh, we're going to get some glass on the mountains here tonight, and uh, you know, you never know what we'll come up with, so looking forward to it. So we're rolling out of camp, we just set up camp. And the first thing we do is jump three rams. One is a giant. He comes all the way around on his left, and on his right he's broke a little bit, but I'll tell you what, I'd go after that ram right now. I mean, he's that big. What do you say? Look at this ram. No way. He's ancient. Come here, man. Come here, man. Oh my goodness. You know, it's been a long hunt in Mongolia. I, I just, this is an old, mature. Really old, right? Yeah, he broomed one side, but he's got, he's just unbelievable. I could not be more appreciative and more honored. I just took a Gobi Argali in Mongolia. Thank you everybody for supporting me. Thanks Safari Classics for following my adventures, the Wildlife Gallery, all our sponsors. I couldn't be more happy. Thanks so much.